before I start this video, I just want to do one thing. That's for you, Saber. That is for you. Saber Interactive has done it, fellas. The first really big mainstream media Warhammer 40k video game to absolutely blow off the fucking charts. Let me tell you. Two guys, two million. Two million copies sold for a Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 video game. I, I, it, it fucking blows my mind. Also, how good this game is. Saber absolutely knocked it out of I can't like this this could probably be like an eight, nine minute video of me just glazing over uh Saber. So you know just be ready. Blows my mind. It absolutely does. And not in the way where it's innovative, it's like super competitive, everybody's sweating their balls off, you know, it's crazy. It's how simple it is. I don't think you guys understand that. It's a simple game mode. And I'm like at an I'm at an awe of how much it is. Like it's so easy to just be immersed and have fun. Like when I'm playing COD, you guys probably seen the videos, I absolutely blow up when I'm getting absolutely murked on by people 30 times better than me. But this game, it's like, yeah, he's he's definitely 30 times better than me, but I can see why he kills me. I understand why he does get that kill on me. And I'm like, you know what, dude? Fair play. In the fucking, in the lobby, I'm like, yeah, dude, that guy's good. Like, it, there's never any toxicity for me. I know some people have run into, like, racial, very racially motivated people. Like, everything's out the fucking window. I've never run into that. It's incredible how good the devs are. Like, the creative director, dude, literally just opened up a QA. and a and just to answer to everybody's questions. And it, they weren't vague at all. It was just actually like, hey, is this gonna happen? Yes or no? And he answers. He actually answers. And I was like, you could just do that? Nobody's over your shoulder telling you what not to say and what to say. Like you're just on Twitter, just going off, dude. And it was awesome to see. Like this, this game takes me back to like the 2012, 2013 area of video games, where I feel like was like the golden era. It's like the golden era of, of um, I'm, I'm locking in currently. Currently locking in. Oh my God, absolutely dumped on. Video games were made for the players. Like it was all about, it was all about having fun. Everything was always about having fun. But I love that. And it's not a bad thing to go back to the formula. I mean, the formula worked. It makes me really, like, think of how quick and easy it was to just pick up a video game back then and just start playing. Like, you didn't have to learn every... Like, you didn't have to know every class. You didn't know what guns did the most damage, what attachments did the most for your gun, what percentages they did. It was simply, you pick a gun. If you like it, cool. Play with it. That was it. That was all it was, and I love it. The progression also is uh, muy caliente. Mwah. It is so good. It is so good. It's very linear, but I kind of like that, where I don't have to search for 25 minutes to find this specific He's thing that dead. I want. Move it's on. super linear. It's like, use these coins. You can either purchase them in the skill tree for PvE or go full cosmetic. Blood comes Am I in the wrong spot? Also, voice lines are so good. I it makes me so immersed. I love it, dude. I even quote them. I quote the Night Lord one. The Night Lord. Whoever did the fucking voice lines for these guys, give him a pay bump, dude. Oh my god, the Night Lord goes crazy with his lines. It's fucking nuts. I feel it in my <laughs> genitalia. Dude. Wait, no, 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 wait, no. He was Where is he? Ready to it does give me Gears of War vibes, but not really. It's just like, it's like that aesthetic feeling. I think everybody, everybody always says like it's Gears of War vibes. It's not because it plays like Gears of War, it's because it's from the era of Gears of War. Where it was just Xbox was like doing everything they could to just make great fucking games like bangers after bangers after bangers. I only have 33 hours in this game and I hate myself for it because I'm in college and I hate that I have to go to class. Like I don't know how many times I've contemplated just skipping class just to play this game. Like I wanted to do it so bad. 
just skip like three days. Of, I skipped two days worth of classes to play this game when it opened. Oh, bravo, and I'm very glad I did, but dude, I was so behind on my classes. It was crazy. No, 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 no. The developers honestly cooked like. I don't like a legit glazing and I mean glazing like a glazed donut from fucking Dunkin Donuts right on a Sunday morning I they do the atmosphere of this game the environments how the armor looks how it moves is dude it makes me want to like be in warmer 40k so bad I just died nades are also overpowered <laughs> big gripe right there as you can tell the maps are a little lacking because at a certain point all of the games just blend together but I really don't find it that bad to look because the gameplay is so engaging and it's so good to repeat and it's so immersive and you look at your guy you do something cool and you're just like dude this is awesome so it don't really matter it doesn't really matter to me that we have only three maps because I just love the gameplay loop so much but we've already they've already said in the roadmap that we're getting more stuff so you know it's not really much to touch on there because we're going to be getting more it's just a matter of, of when and I'm not a game developer, so I have, I've never even looked into how it, you make a game, so I have no clue on how long it takes to make a map or make customization items or input new weapons. I ha honestly have no idea, but we are going to get before the end of 2024, so three months. I want this game to be like a Destiny 2 situation where we get seven years of updates and, and roadmaps and new DLC. Like, you know how cool that would be? Like, new new factions come in. Like, you could play as a Necron in here. That'd be so cool. Or you could play as like a Tyranid and stuff. They already have the models and stuff, so it'd be awesome. And it's just like, there's so much potential for this game because nobody has tapped into the 40k universe yet. So... Saber being the first people to do it and being so faithful to the lore gives me so much hype and like I am not at all worried about that stuff I'm just worried about it not being out in a timely fashion. That's the only thing that I'm worried about I hope this is around for a very very long time No problem here playing this game for six years seven years uh, Chaos customization is really lacking which I don't really understand why he he mentioned that the armor could be clipping through it. It's also very hard to do chaos armor, I guess. And that in order for players to recognize which class is which, you need them to be a certain faction. So like world eaters have to be Vanguard and have to have that certain that certain armor in order to be like, oh, okay, I see that armor, so I know that he is a Vanguard. But I don't really understand that because, I mean, if I see a shield, it's a bulwark. If I see a jetpack, it's a soul. If I see the, the giant grappling hook on a Vanguard, I know it's a Vanguard. I would love to see a Terminator class. That would be sick. Terminator class would be really cool. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I mean, because it would just be so, it would be so difficult to balance that. I don't know exactly how they would do it, but I'm super excited. I hope you guys get this game because if you're not a 40K fan, this game is super fun. You'll love every bit of it. And if you're a 40k fan, this game is even better than what the reviews are saying because it's perfect. It's perfect for any 40k fan who knows the lore, who's read up on all of the events leading up to it, who's played Space Marine 1. It's awesome. And I have loved every minute of this game. And I hope you guys pick it up because, dude, if we get private PvP lobby soon, I would love to just do a bunch of games with viewers where we all just do like really funny ass class setups and stuff and we just have a good time. So um, I got to get going. I have a, about an hour and a half drive back home to surprise my parents. So uh, I got to get going, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one.